Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior, bringing you one of the craziest gameplays I have ever gotten on Call of Duty Ghosts. Now, if you guys recall, a few weeks ago, I uploaded 170 kills with the Honey Badger, no no assault kill streak. So just support, or not support, specials, my bad. Uh, so I didn't have any extra kills from any sort of, um, you know, score streak or kill streak or anything like that. And now, today, a few weeks later, I am bringing you guys 112 kills with the Remington in domination on Octane. Now, when I got that 107 kills previously, it was on Blitz Strike Zone. So there was a lot of spawn trapping. There was a lot of um, just easy kills that didn't really take much skill to do. And the fact that it was on Strike Zone makes it even smaller, so it's much easier to find people. But this gameplay... So with a different gun that you haven't really seen too much of on my channel, and that's the Remington R5. Definitely a great gun, and it's in domination, so that means there's really no spawn trapping. I am kind of able to work the spawns, but for the most part, I'm rushing around trying to find the enemy and get as many kills as I possibly can. And since it's on domination, we were able to have a longer game, which kind of helps me get more kills. Um, I am playing in a full party with subscribers in this gameplay, and it was a lot of fun because every single person that I was playing with in the party you know, we were all on the same page. Our our brains were kind of synced up. You know, what we what our strategy was when when we first started playing domination was we would pretty much our goal would be us to have a home flag like A or C, and the and the enemy team have a home flag like if we have A, they would have C, and then we'd leave B neutralized. And what that would do it that would allow the game to go on forever. Like in the past like 24 hours, I think I got this 112 kill game, which is the most kills that I have on Call of Duty. Um, on Ghost because I've gotten like 190 on Black Ops 2. So there's 112 I got in this one. And then earlier today I got a 96 kill game, which is still pretty crazy. And then last night I was able to get a 99 kill game. And you guys can imagine how heated I was that I wasn't able to get that last kill. And sadly, I didn't have Hardline on my normal class I had and on my specials bonus. So, you know, I never got an assist counts as kill. And I was never able to get a kill that even can count as a 100th kill. So I was extremely pissed about that but this gameplay really got me thinking like think about all the gameplays that i get solo i mean i get like two minute chem strike solo or just like a chem strike with like the k7 or just a weird chem strike in general when i play solo and i never really can get more than that like a bunch of kills or a double chem strike or triple chem strike or anything like that when i'm playing solo is because it's always not that my teammates are bad it's just that my teammates end the game whether it be from triple capping or cap in the portal and blitz 16 times or anything like that. So really when I play with a party, it's not to have like the extra support and a bunch of like extremely good players that are able to just completely dominate the other team. But it's more so just to have people that listen to me and that know what they're doing. And it always so, you know, we don't end the game. But it always seems to end out that whenever I get a group of subscribers, they're always really good players. And, you know, normally we'll end up dropping a few chem strikes per game. You know, I won't be nine times out of ten. I'm not the only one calling in a chem strike. So, you know, it definitely makes it a lot of fun to interact with you guys and play with you guys. And, um, you know, if you're one of the people that haven't played with me yet, I tweeted out this weekend that I was looking for some people to play with. And I got a ton of responses. It was absolutely overwhelming. It was a blast. So the best way if you want to play with me isn't to add me on Xbox Live, isn't to send me a message on Xbox Live, although I do appreciate every friend request and message I get. The best way to do it is follow me on Twitter, and I'll tweet out whenever I'm looking to play with people, so definitely check me out over there, and, um, you know, do enjoy the gameplay, guys. It's I know you guys have been complaining about the spawn trapping on Blitz, and I've been trying to steer away from that, um, even though it's not really spawn trapping. I've said it a million times, and I'll say it again. What I consider spawn trapping is like sitting in a corner, aiming down sight, and just holding down the trigger, looking at one spot, and nowhere but that one spot just completely destroying the enemy that just continuously spawns there that's what i consider spawn trapping what i would do in blitz is i would consider it like spawn controlling um but you know one thing that i noticed this weekend is when i was playing with a group of subscribers we hopped in some blitz at first um just because you know we were in the mood and we were in the mood just to absolutely run over some noobs and the thing that i found out is everyone on sovereign or um, strike zone or whatever it be, everyone was going to my spots and then it hit me, you know, I'm like, wow, does, are these spots this commonly known? Does everyone know these spots? Does everyone go to these spots? And then it finally hit me, I finally realized that my spawn trapping series, the how to spawn trap with little air quotes around the spawn trap, that all my subscribers have watched those series and all of them know how to do it and that is why my subscribers are so good. 
I'm not saying it's 100% thanks to me that my subscribers are good. I'm just saying that that they know the spawns and they know um, at least they learned a little bit from me. And I just think it's awesome that, you know, just sitting here at my computer making YouTube videos can help people out all around the world and be able to help them get better at Call of Duty. So um, I'm just going to throw some music over the rest of this gameplay because it is extremely long. I don't think I'm going to put the entire gameplay just because it was like a 15 minute gameplay. Um, since we were able to make the game go as long as possible from having like three flags neutralized at a time. And I think that if I were to get a full party of six and, um, you know, just neutralize all three flags and have everyone just posted up at an each flag, you know, everyone just completely destroying everyone and the enemy didn't back out, I think that I could get like eight chem strikes in one game, seeing as the game would literally never end. But, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that Infinity Ward threw something in the game. Like, if all the flags are neutralized for more than like a minute, then the game just ends as a draw, and um, so you can't really do that. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click the like button if you guys enjoyed. Drop a comment down below if you want to see more super high kill games like this one. Subscribe if you guys are new and have a fantastic day. I am.